Stigma is a strong feeling of disapproval by most of society, especially towards something unfair. For example, when someone mentions the stigma of mental health, they mean the uneasiness we get when talking about it. Breaking the stigma would mean that we destroy that barrier of awkwardness when talking about it. For example, in this documentary, we will be breaking the stigma around a common mental disorder, anxiety. The stigma around anxiety is that it is not a real mental illness, as being anxious is part of human nature. Oftentimes, people who have an anxiety disorder are mistaken as weak-minded. Normal anxiety is what you feel when you're in a stressful situation, usually triggering something called a fight or flight response. An anxiety disorder, however, is when that threat detection system in your brain malfunctions, causing the anxiety to persist longer even after the stressful situation. Current psychologists have confirmed that there are seven categories of anxiety disorders. First is generalized anxiety disorder, known as GAD, social phobia, panic disorder, agoraphobia, phobias, post-traumatic stress disorder, known as PTSD, and obsessive compulsive disorder known as OCD. Symptoms of anxiety can include chest pain, muscle tension, restlessness, change in appetite, irritability, excessive sweating, palpitations, insomnia, and tremors. For more information, visit scholarly articles and certified websites about anxiety disorders like the World Health Organization WHO. Individuals with anxiety disorders are often considered unpredictable, neurotic, or need to toughen up. Some of the most common myths that lead to the stigma around anxiety disorders are that they are not real mental illnesses, and that the person with an anxiety disorder is just overreacting. Society felt that they could just snap out of it whenever they'd like to. Another myth about it is that those people are weak that they can't handle those fears of theirs. However, these are nothing but rumors as people with anxiety crave the opposite of attention and are more than capable of putting themselves back together. The stigma of mental illness continues to be an issue in our world and its impact will often delay a person who struggles with mental health from addressing their concerns the moment they have them. Other times, it has prevented a person from reaching out for help at all. This is why we must break the stigma of anxiety and of mental health altogether. We interview a friend of ours about their views on anxiety. Do you think the methods of treatments for these mental health illnesses have improved over the past years? Yes, I think they have. Uh, not to a point that's like, wow, this is so much better than before. But I think, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. There's, oh, there, there really is. But I think that the awareness has definitely improved. It's much more obvious now that they care about mental health. And also, judgment now is quite low um, in terms of you know medical professionals, but uh, to the general public, I think judgment could be lowered, yeah. How different would you consider anxiety these days compared to the past? Well, I wouldn't have say, said it has changed, but um, in terms of awareness, I am more aware of my condition rather than in the past. Because in the past, I was, only one, I was always wondering why I felt like this. But now, I think I'm aware of my anxiety. That's good. Here is our advice for people who are struggling with anxiety. Make sure to stay connected with supportive people and do things that make you happy. For example, petting cats. A study reported by the Journal of the Acoustical Society of America stated that the frequency of a cat's purr, somewhere between 25 and 150 hertz, falls within the same range as vibrational and electrical frequencies used in therapeutic or clinical settings to treat pain, swelling, wounds, and other injuries. You could also do meditation or listen to music to ease your body and mind. If any of these don't work, however, Getting professional help is important as well. We recommend the following support groups. Support Group Central, known as SGC, is best for multiple health conditions. Working Through Fear, known as WTF, is best for mindfulness. Anxiety Tribe is best for social connections. Seven Cups is best for online support. 
Emotions Anonymous, known as EA, is best for a 12-step program. National Alliance on Mental Illness, known as NAMI, is best for family support. And Dual Recovery Anonymous, known as DRA, is best for those in dual recovery.